This artist prefers capitalism over socialism and communism. With the uh, these elections going on here in the states, the word uh, socialism has been brought up a lot. I think there's uh, a lot of misinformation or miscommunication about those uh, words. First, I'll say that I see communism and socialism as uh, one is a kick to the uh, left testicle and one is a kick to the right testicle. I don't want it. Don't want it. Don't want to have it. Don't want other people to get it. Except a few, a few people, a few cold-hearted people. But I don't think it's an effective way of living. But for the reason I like capitalism, prefer capitalism, love it, I keep on working with it. It's yeah, best choice we have so far. With capitalism, I'm able to draw what I want. And the only thing that could keep me from uh, drawing, drawing or creating anything else that I the only thing that could really stop me is a, uh, a lack of funds. So people can vote with their dollars if they don't like my stuff. I was reading that uh, in communist Russia that Some artists were uh, considered, uh, were ordered to be liquidated if their artwork, if their art didn't comply with uh, the uh, state's image. Can you imagine that? Imagine if uh, all I was able to draw was stuff that made, um, let's say, only American bald eagles or only that uh, idiot, um, Obama and Biden, if all I was able to do was just draw their images in a positive manner. And I know that uh, Capitalist system has got plenty of flaws. Plenty. No way perfect. But when you see what's going on in Venezuela, I think Cuba's so communist, is it? Not really certain on that. But here, if you're great artwork, what you could put it on your uh, a YouTube account, Facebook account, your Instagram, or if you're a dinosaur, you could put it on MySpace. I see this thing called Twitch uh, becoming more and more popular too. And uh, you, know, you could sell your stuff on there, even if it's uh, stuff that I hate, like uh, feminist propaganda. But that's the beauty of uh, 
capitalist system where you know you go ahead and uh, create that stuff and sell it you got your freedom of speech but uh, again if this was a, a red state a red country like uh, Mother Russia was back in the days, you'd be possibly liquidated for not thinking outside the box. I'm thinking of a way to just to approach these drawing videos a little different. Again, it's not pretty obvious the, the way that I draw, the technique I use. Because even if I described it in words, I think just watching the actions or rewatching it would be good enough to understand how I actually do it. Although sometimes, not sometimes, but many times there's artwork that is overpriced and sometimes undersold in capitalism, I still think it, it can work. Again, uh, you could, uh, even with capitalism, you could, I mean, if you don't think uh, capitalism is any good and you prefer socialism or communism, you're able to download this video and uh, people comment. You know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And I'm open for uh, suggestions. It's always good to grow, to learn. That's how uh, I think that's how I got to be able to draw, to draw this way. Learning about different uh, soft leads and pencils. That it wasn't simply that uh, that big blue pencil that you get in elementary school. That wasn't the only sort of lead that you could write with or create with. Using capitalism, I've got uh, some shirts that uh, will be coming out with my artwork on them. And it's up to to me to make sure that well, it's, it's look as look that it becomes lucrative. I 
Now there are places in the world where if you were to draw the Prophet Muhammad, you'd uh, be a dead sentence. Even in uh, Thailand, I think it's, um, I'm not sure if it's a death sentence, but I'm pretty sure it's prison time if you speak bad about the king there. when people, or artists, people call themselves artists, and I have to be real careful with that term too, because artists have made a video on that, on the definition of that, it's very, it's very slippery, slow word, but, yeah, if you're an artist, I don't see how you could be a fan of some of these, uh, socialist or communist ideas. Um, I think Picasso even, uh, which I admire, was a communist. And it's, uh, it's strange that, uh, but I gotta read more into that too. Someone so creative can, uh, believe that such a uh, cookie cutter uh, government uh, setup could uh, make everyone effective. That's, it's as if, uh, it'd be like saying, if everyone grew up exactly like Picasso, that he, everyone would become one. You know, I think some of them would be mechanics, some of them would be janitors, some of them would be housewives, so, but I, I'll have to read up more on that to, to be more elaborate on, on my perspective on the what if of that scenario. The DPRK, what's that? The Democratic People's Republic Korea. So, funny to put Democratic. But I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to criticize Kim Jong un or Kim Jong il, whatever those. whatever their names are. Kim. Jong Soon, forget his name. I'm sure they're not a fan of um, capitalistic artwork, capitalistic ways. If you're creating out there, just just uh, read up on it. Read up on whatever your beliefs are. What they apply in this year, in the past century, on this continent, on other continents. Just so make sure that um, you know, be, being led down to a beating, beating path of struggle, of known struggle. Or continuous struggle is probably better. And that's my name on Facebook if you want to add me or follow me.